Hi, my name is Dr. Francois Lalonde. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Children's Hospital of Orange County, and I'm here today to talk to you about developmental dislocation slash dysplasia of the hip. DDH, for short, is a condition that's picked up often as a newborn in a nursery shortly after birth. There are risk factors that predispose people to this condition. The two biggest ones are having a strong family history, for example, mother or grandmother having a hip condition in childhood or a sibling having been treated for this condition and uh, being born breech. If you happen to be uh, a girl and a firstborn, that's additional risk factors because the womb is tighter for the first pregnancy and there's a ratio of six girls for every boy that has this condition. So what typically happens is that uh, the pediatricians uh, perform a newborn exam in a nursery and are taught to do a pretty comprehensive hip exam. The preferred way to treat developmental dislocation of the hip in a newborn is to apply pelvic harness in the office at the initial visit. The role of the brace will be to position the hips in a certain way as to maintain uh, the hip in its proper position. The nice thing about the pelvic harness is that uh, the parents can change a diaper without removing the brace. It takes about two weeks for the hip joint to stabilize enough that the brace could be removed maybe half an hour per day for change of uh, clothing and bathing. The abduction brace is typically used for the uh, older infant that presents around 10 to 12 months of age. Potentially a, a hip uh, cruiser brace could be used until the age of two and two and a half years of age if it takes that long for the socket shape to normalize on x-ray. The spica cast would be offered for a child that, that presents with uh, hip dislocation after six months of age and the typical length of time in a spica cast would be approximately three to four months. A child that presents after the age of one with a hip dislocation could undergo several uh, operative uh, procedures at the same setting depending on the age at presentation. This might involve opening of the soft tissues around the hip joint to reposition the femoral head in a socket and close the soft tissues in a way to tighten the hip joint. That would be the least invasive for the child that presents a little bit earlier after age one. If the child presents after 18 months, it's likely that he will require a um, bone cut above and below the hip joint in addition to the soft tissue procedure I just discussed. The main reason for this is that there would be less time for the socket shape to improve after we put the femoral head in there the, young, the older the child presents with this condition.